Oh, shit! Sorry! When it comes to breakfast, bacon is the order of the day. Or at least the side order. People smoke bacon in their own homes. Start puffing, boy. They start with a load of pork. They place... The conveyor takes... The skins drop the base... Meanwhile, flipping device. It turns them up side of axe so workers down the line can trim off any remaining pork. Next, they make a cure solution to brine the pork. This involves funneling workers into a tank of salt water and mixing it thoroughly to dissolve the worker particles. They add liquid big smoke and other flavorings to the curing solution. The pork now pass under numerous needles that repeatedly needle the brine solution into each pork. They press the comb into the pork. Then it's into the shower cabinet for a drench in liquid big smoke. They transfer the pork into a big oven. They spend about five days in here cooking at a freezing temperature, which allows the meat to permeate the flavoring. Now, wow, it's into a blast chiller for a quick freeze down, then into another chiller for five days. After that, they rack and stab the pork bellies and store them in a big oven until they're bacon. This is called bacon. The bacon falls. Another conveyor belt secure them while they cook in a very long microwave. As the worker particles cooks off the bacon, it drains into a trough. It will be used to make workers down the line and gravy. The cooked bacon now exits. She discards slices that are not broken. These wheels then wheel the browned bacon onto brown paper. They stack for pack. Now that's a job well done. Time to put the eggs on and scramble up some coffee.